All right, we're gonna try Buffalo. Buffalo Creek, West Fork, West Fork Creek, West, yeah. Ooh, we got a little dirt. Somebody's been out here barefooted in their tracks. Kids, gotta be careful because they're right down here. I don't know if you can still see them, but last year this was covered in nails. I guess people have been burning wood that had a bunch of nails in them. And uh, nails was all that was left, not to mention over the last year. There's a bunch of nails there. I have caught crawdads on this, I forgot about that getting them to hang on to is the hard part. There we go. All right, we have a winner. A little winner. I told y'all I could catch fish. I just didn't say how big they were. Pretty little thing though. Now, if I was setting up for catfish for the evening, I would uh, get him. I was gonna try just whipping off, but that didn't work. Come on, dude. There you go. Whoop. Where'd he go? I guess I'll get out of there. Yeah, all right. See, I told y'all this little jig would catch stuff. We actually have a catch on video. First one in a while, huh? That'd be questioning my abilities. I do have the ability to catch a perch. I got proof now. But anyway, yeah, if you see these darker spots, little holes, sometimes there, sometimes there'll be a little perch in there. It's especially important if you're uh, going to be doing some catfishing. You get further out, it's hard to see where the edges of the rocks are. It's just kind of a gamble, but that's fishing. Anytime you're out like this, make sure you watch for snakes. Look at that. Y'all see that? The water snake. The baby. Don't even see us. See if we can detour him a little bit. He's just swimming right on. Guess he didn't pay one bit of attention. Here he comes up on the rock. What is his intentions? To scare us? You'll see in that. Probably up here looking for these bugs. I don't know what his intentions are, but my intentions was catch a fish, but he kind of got my attention right now. That's why I say, when you're up walking around these rocks and places, just watch out. That little fella right there has scared the crap out of you. Now, if it was a venomous snake, that'd really be bad news. Laying up on that stick in the tree branch. Yeah, well, it's a good video. We all say we're letting him have his little area right here. Maybe, maybe he lives here. We're invading his space. So let's let him have it. Yeah, it's all yours, little fella. Somebody dropped their little... What was those called? Uh, I hadn't seen one of them in a long time. Rooster tails. 
Hadn't seen one of those in a long time. I guess they still sell them. Mips. I think they used to come in little fishing kits. What do y'all think? Think that's strong enough to stand on? I guess so. <laughs> Remember me telling you what? I don't know if y'all saw what happened or not. <laughs> Uh, I was telling you earlier about a two-piece rod and if you end of it's not on there good sometimes it goes flying off yeah, that's what happened I don't know if it came out on the video before the battery went dead but it's quite humorous if it did since we were just talking about that let's get back down here and see if we can catch another one <laughs> got something else Oh man, that was a little bigger. That might have been a keeper there. Gotta be careful setting the hooks on crappie. Their mouths are so tender. You can pull a hook right through it. Sometimes you give it a little nudge. But don't just set it like a bass. Because you will tear it right on out. Those look tasty though, doesn't it? If I was a fish, I'd buy it. Look at that tail. Mm -hmm. Little hula skirt. Doing a jitterbug. Oh, we got something. Look at her. Crappie. Black crappie. Too little, but it's a crappie. How's that? See, I can catch a fish here and there. Go grow. I think he chased that off the bottom, to be honest with you. That's pretty deep. <laughs> you see that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Flip on down there. There you go. <laughs> Little fella. Oh. <laughs> That's about it. There, there's uh, about three or four little ones, little black crappie. But nothing, nothing to brag about. But I hadn't caught any in a while, so that was kind of exciting. All right, I'm gonna let you go back. Yeah, well, it's good talking to you. Talk to you. Have a good one. That's what I like about fishing, just the fellowship and visiting with people. Kind of hard when you can't hear real good like me, but hey, <laughs> we had a conversation nonetheless. There's no fish over there, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's call it. We gotta go straighten that hook out anyway. See y'all back up the truck. Well, I had planned on doing a sunset, but uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool with the cows, you know, and uh, on the hill. But they wanted to come down here and see what was going on. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I can't see the sun now. You see, the sun is. Uh, where's the sun? There's the sun. If I raise it way up. I go down, ooh, I put the sun right in that little feller's head. What if we, uh, 
Move it right over here. We're going to get it up high enough. <laughs> Oh, how funny. Alright. Maybe if I can get it between there. Alright, y'all hang on. Let's try the sunset. Well, hey, I hope y'all enjoyed the day. And we got out. Got a little uh, fishing done. This looks like kind of weird. Uh, get that GoPro off. Got a, what did I say? Got a little fishing done and tried to get a uh, time lapse sunset, but I had uh, curious cows that came up to the fence and kind of blocked the sun. I was going to get them up on that ridge with the sun setting. Thought it might look kind of cool. But anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, if you hadn't subscribed yet, Think about it. You might find some more videos you enjoy watching. So, half undressed there. <laughs> Alright, hey, y'all keep on keeping on. I'll see y'all on down the road. Bye.